Mr. Chairman, the, the national security threat from our open southwest border should now be obvious and alarming to every American. Uh, during the first fiscal year of this administration, Border Patrol encountered 15 suspected terrorists attempting to illegally enter our country. Now, that was five times as many as the prior fiscal year under Donald Trump. In fact, it was more than we'd encountered during all four fiscal years of the Trump administration combined. The second fiscal year of this administration, that number skyrocketed from 15 to 98. Last fiscal year, 169. So far this fiscal year, another 58. That's a 3,000 percent increase in known or suspected terrorists that we've been able to apprehend. This is shocking in itself, but there have also been 1.8 million known gotaways uh, in the same period. These are people that the Border Patrol watched or tracked crossing our border that they couldn't stop while they've been overwhelmed processing illegal aliens into the United States. 1.8 million illegal entries about whom we know precisely nothing. When Biden abandoned Afghanistan, he released 5,000 of the most dangerous terrorists on the planet. Ten days later, one of them detonated the bomb that killed 13 U.S. service members at Kabul airport. We don't know where the others are, but it's a good bet more than a few are among those 1.8 million. Last July, the FBI director warned this committee that the open southwest border poses a massive security threat to our country. His words, massive security threat because of the increase in, quote, known or suspected terrorists coming across the southwest border. Under this administration, the threat doesn't stop once these watch-listed aliens are encountered at the border. Instead of detaining and deporting them, the Biden administration is releasing some of them into our cities and towns. In, in April of 22, for example, a terrorist was released by the Biden administration in Yuma, Arizona. He boarded an airplane and flew from California to Florida. Last March, an al-Shabaab operative from Somalia illegally crossed the U.S. border in California and, according to press reports, quote, was released by Border Patrol and then freely roamed the U.S. for nearly a year before ICE arrested him last month. In November, the administration released a Pakistani national on the terrorist watch list. Last August, a foreign national with ties to ISIS helped to smuggle aliens from Uzbekistan, Russia, Georgia, and Chechnya into the United States illegally through the southwest border. How often does this happen? We have no idea, because the administration won't tell us. Shortly after the news leaked about the ISIS tied smuggling ring, I requested a briefing from DHS and the FBI. I was initially told that we'd get the classified briefing, but the administration changed its mind and has stonewalled that request ever since. This committee and the American people should be notified every time the administration releases a watch-listed alien into the U.S., and we should know where the alien is located. Of course, the administration stonewalled Chairman Jordan's repeated requests for that information. In April of 2022, Mr. Jordan asked Secretary Mayorkas whether watch-listed illegal aliens had been released into the United States, and if so, where they were now. Mr. Mayorkas had no idea, but promised to get back to him. Mr. Jordan, I understand, is still waiting, despite many follow-up requests. To this day, the committee still doesn't know how many suspected terrorists the Biden administration has released into the country because DHS refuses to tell us. A large portion of the illegal population flooding into our country is military-aged single males. We know nothing about the gotaways, and without documentation and confirmation of that documentation from their home countries, uh, we, we know nothing about, uh, about those that the Border Patrol does encounter. The Border Patrol has to take their word, even for their names and ages. They can board U.S. aircraft with their arrest warrant, their notice to appear as their only identification. My greatest fear is that someday, perhaps someday soon, we will suffer a coordinated terrorist attack throughout the country by elements that have already been allowed to enter our country. After October 7th, we know what a bloody day that would be. The Transparency and National Security Threats Act requires the Attorney General, in conjunction with the DHS Secretary, to provide this committee with the categorical and alien-specific information regarding watch-listed aliens encountered by DHS. 
It also requires that the administration make public each month the number of illegal aliens encountered at the border from each foreign country, information that is currently unavailable to the American public. I am pleased to have worked together with the minority on this legislation. I appreciate the input that they've provided. I look forward to this bill being signed into law either by this president or the next. Uh, I urge my colleagues to support the bill, and I'll yield back the balance of my time.